when we look at state-sponsored violence, particularly um, anti-blackness, which is really systematic and has always been here since the advent of, of this country, um, it, it, you can find as many uh, interesting facts in looking into why it happens as to why it doesn't happen to other communities as pervasively, as insidiously. Because you can always make an excuse, well, it just so happened to be Flint, but, you know, and this is the same with, with black bodies in the streets, uh, uh, with, uh, with cops shooting, shooting people down that are unarmed. Um, so you have people whose voices are not as easily heard, whether that's because they are low income, whether that's because they're disenfranchised, whether that's because they are immigrant community, whether that's because they're black or brown. Um, so it's much easier. Who do you bully if you're a bully? You don't bully a big kid. You bully somebody who's probably not going to clap back at you. Um, so that's what, so we have to, you know, there's nobody ever in the history of the world that's gotten respect that didn't demand it. But what this is really about is us looking at each other, seeing each other, and demanding the spec respect that we deserve from each other, as well as the outside community, because you can't have one without the other. If I kill somebody in the street, am I probably going to go to court or face penalty? Why, if I have on a blue shirt and, and have a government-issued gun, can I get away with murder, um, by and large? That, is that fair? Um, are these American rights? A more basic question, are black people American? Are black people human beings? I'll go that far. Because I'm confused, because it does not appear that we're human beings the way, because we don't have the, the inalienable rights that human beings are supposed to have. So let's start from the very basic and work back up. When public works um, oppress, if not kill, people who they are, literally their only job is to serve, their primary, their primary incentive is to serve us, whether that's police, whether that's government officials, whether that's something as basic as utilities, food, clothing, shelter, water. Um, when they, it's one thing to be ignored, it's another thing to be neglected, it's another thing to be poisoned with a well-known neurotoxin for children, not for 10 days, which would be horrible, not for 10 months, for two years, and it only stopped because they got caught, yo. Know? Because they got caught. The only reason we're talking about police killing black folks is because they got caught on camera because they tell us we've been imagining it for centuries. You know, we don't, everybody doesn't have the tools in their toolbox to truly see what white power and white supremacy really does and how many people it really chokes out and how, how destructive it is to, make, to keep making films about Africa with white people as Africans. All, when you take all of our greatest achievements, pretend they never existed for us and somehow you did them, it's, it's, it's silly. Um, but it's not. But it's not just silly. It's. It's. A, that's violence. That's violence because you're making it so that there is nobody of value that looks like us. So that therefore, when you get killed, brother, there's. I have no real reason to really care that much because you never really had that much potential. Because I've never seen anybody that looks like you that's really ever accomplished anything that really mattered.